friends, Erica Tesla here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new and if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's so good to have you here. I'm really excited today to talk to you about a product that I knew I wanted to pick up, but I didn't expect to receive in PR. So yesterday I was filming a video talking about some of the new drugstore products that I have been trying out. And in the middle of that video, I hear the doorbell ring and I ran to the door thinking, oh, I wonder if this is something I have to sign for. Well, it turns out that my friends at LYS Beauty went ahead and sent me this gorgeous box. And I'm going to try to center that for you. Okay. And... As you may or may not know, LYS recently released brand new blushes. So here's the inside of the box. Like how cute is this PR package? I feel incredibly grateful and very spoiled that this was sent my way because sometimes, and I, I don't disagree with this strategy, brands will maybe send you one or two shades. And I have received the lipsticks from LYS Beauty and they sent, I believe, two shades of the lipstick and two of the lip pe lip pencils, which makes total sense, especially with them being a growing brand. Sometimes you can't send a whole range of products out to content creators. I understand and appreciate so much that there's a budget behind it, but they kindly sent me all of the brand new blush sticks. Look at this. These are so pretty guys. So I, let's see how many shades we have seven new shades of these, this brand new product. I got this in the package. There is the gorgeous owner Tisha looking stunning. And so these are the cream blush sticks. These launched on the 21st. So we are definitely, these are available now. I saw them launch on both the Sephora site and the LYS Beauty site. So I'm not sure if Sephora carries all of the shades, but I know that the website will. The website definitely does have all of the shades. These are the new higher standard cream glow blush sticks. And these are described as having an irresistibly creamy flush of color. They contain green tea extract, which helps to soothe and hydrate the skin, watermelon seed extract, which helps retain the skin's moisture, and rosehip oil, which is antioxidant rich with vitamins A, C, E, and E to help reduce the look of dark spots and improve moisture levels, which is something I definitely need. I definitely suffer from hyperpigmentation due to hormonal acne, and so I'm always spot concealing and using different products to help fade dark spots, brighten my skin, keep it healthy and moisturized. And I do have skin that is on the drier side. So LYS products have worked really well for me. I cannot attest to everyone else's experiences, of course, and skincare is an intensely personal thing, but I have really enjoyed the products that I have both received and purchased from LYS Beauty. So I was really, really excited to see these come out. I knew that I was gonna go ahead and purchase them myself, but I didn't anticipate being sent the full collection. So I'm really excited. We have seven shades. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to show you guys swatches. I'm gonna talk about the different colors in the range and show you swatches of the shades that I have pre-filmed. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick demo and today i made sure to keep my base as minimal as possible because i did want to demo these on the face for you so i did my best to do no makeup makeup i am usually a full coverage girly but i'm actually pretty happy with how my face looks right now i did mostly like spot concealing and just tried to cover up things that might be a little bit distracting while i'm trying these on but let's go ahead and talk about the swatches so we have seven shades of this beautiful formula. We have the shade Bubbly, which is described as a soft pink. Then we have the shade Elite, which is a mauve color. Next, we have the shade Curvy, which is described by the brand as the perfect peach. 
Then we have the shade Unfazed, which is a berry plum shade. Then you have the shade Outgoing, which is a watermelon pink. And then we've also got Courageous, which is a poppy orange. And finally, we have the shade Focused, which is described as a warm cinnamon pink. So you have shades that are really pretty broad in terms of the different colors that you have options to use. Let's go ahead and get into trying these on the face. As I said before, I did my best to do a, you know, makeup look or like a no makeup makeup look because I really want you guys to focus on the shades. And also I'm planning to clean the product off in between applications. So we're gonna go ahead and start. The way the brand suggests that you apply these is to put the blush stick directly on the apples of the cheek and layer until you achieve the desired intensity. Use a blush brush to blend upwards toward the hairline for a more natural finish under paint before applying foundation. And I was thinking when these came out, underpainting is exactly what I wanna try with these. But I'm going to put these on the cheek and just dab it in with the finger just so you guys can see how it looks. And these are pretty pigmented, so I don't need to go in with a lot. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. These are really, really pigmented. I actually probably put too much on, but this is my first time trying these. And this is this is a very, very full blush. Like I could see being very successful under painting these because if I just had applied this and I was gonna try to walk out the door, I probably would put some foundation on top of this. But for demonstration purposes, I think that this is perfectly acceptable for you to see that these are very pigmented. And this shade, I think a couple of the shades, they have a little bit more sheen to them. So yes, this is the shade Bubbly. And again, Bubbly is described as a soft pink I put a good amount on, so I'm sure that I could sheer this out and get a really, really pretty finish. And I can see whatever product I had is totally gone, and here we have my freckles. They say hello. We're gonna go in with the shade Elite, and I'm gonna try to just do a little bit less than I did before. Again, blend this out with my fingers. And that's giving me a very pretty flush. Keep in mind, I used a little bit less product for this. So that's what it looks like with just a little bit. I'll add a little bit more just so you guys can see, but these can get quite intense. This is a really pretty shade. This is a very nice everyday shade. I think for someone like me with the yellow undertone, this is a color I can use to look healthy again. <laughs> okay, so this again is the shade Elite. Next we have the shade Kirby, which is described as the perfect peach. And if you see me looking off to the side, I am looking in my monitor so I can see how this is looking. And this is a very pretty peachy shade. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. This one is going on a little bit more sheer. So this one might work really well for someone with a more fair skin tone because it's obviously buildable, it's pigmented. You can see I'm building it up, but it's not as opaque as the first two shades that I tried on for you guys. So again, that's the shade Kirby. A little bit more of a sheer glowy finish, but a really pretty shade. I could see this being really nice to take on vacations or for a more natural makeup look, but it's a really pretty shade. This is the shade Unfazed. This is a berry plum. And this is gonna look absolutely amazing on deeper skin tones. I can already get an idea. Like if you have 
medium deep deep skin wow that is so pretty yeah i i would have to go in with a much lighter hand but i will totally be wearing this shade and you can share it out you can still see my freckles it's not like i put paint on my face the formula feels really really nice and creamy that's really pretty i think i would you know obviously i'm going in a little bit heavy-handed for you guys so you can really see how the colors show up but this is one that i think is an immediate favorite for me i just really like berry tones i really like berry colored lipsticks it's a really pretty shade but that is really really nice next we have the shade outgoing which is described as a watermelon pink Oh, that is a fun one. It's giving me magenta vibes. Very, very pigmented. I so appreciate that LYS really, when it comes to their shade range, they have something that can work for just about anyone. And this is definitely going to look amazing on a deeper skin tone. So obviously I went in with a little bit more than I normally would, but that is a really, really gorgeous shade. It's a little bit more pinky than the shade Unfazed, which is more berry, but still, wow. That's really, really pretty, guys. So let me know what you think of this. Again, way more than I would normally wear, but hopefully it's helpful for you to see how this blends out. And I'm just using my fingers. I didn't want to use a brush for these guys just because I knew I would go through seven brushes <laughs> because you don't want to just try to clean the brush off. The product's going to stay there. So I'm just taking wipes in between and cleaning that off. Next, we have the shade Courageous, which is described as a poppy orange. And I really like orange shades in the summertime. So let's see. And please excuse me, I'm going to take a little bit of fuzz. I'm like dabbing my skin dry in between application just because when I'm wiping off, there's a little residue there. This is the shade Courageous. It's a poppy orange. And when I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it is, this is really intense. I'm not sure that my camera can do these just, justice, sorry. But yeah, look at that. It's so pretty. I'm really liking this on my skin tone. It's giving me a little bit of a sun-kissed look, which if you have really yellow skin like I do, is something I need help with this time of year. I could see this looking really good when my tan comes in in the summertime. And these feel nice going on too. It's again, just this really creamy smooth formula. So that is the shade Courageous. Yeah, it's giving like the, the cute sunburn look, not like the I'm in pain and I need to bathe in aloe vera gel. I, I really like this one. Last but not least, we have the shade Focused, which is described as a warm cinnamon pink. I really like that. There's a warmth to this that is really nice. It has a little bit of uh, spiciness to it. Like, not heat-wise, but uh, I guess the cinnamon in here really is apparent. I'm gonna put a little bit more, this is one of the more sheer ones, but I say sheer using that term loosely just because you can, as you'll see, blend this. And I'm, I'm looking at myself like, this is another really nice one. So again, it's that more sheer-ish glowy finish that obviously you can build up, but I really appreciate the fact that if your skin is deeper, you're gonna. these are all gonna show up on you. These are all gonna show up on you. It's just a matter of what color do you prefer. That's really, really pretty. So again, that's the shade focused. 
Okay, friends, so those were the swatches of the seven shades, just to try them on, let you see how they look on my face. I am a medium skin tone, as you can see. I wear MG5 in the LYS foundation, and I also wear MG5 in the concealer. And the, what I did in between takes was I just took a little dab of concealer to give myself somewhat of a blank slate. That being said, let me know what you guys think of these blushes. Did you pick any up? Are you thinking about picking any of these up? Please let me know if this was helpful for you. I'm really excited to see LYS continue to expand their brand offerings. I really enjoy the bronzer stick. I think that product was pretty viral when it first came out. I know it sold out a few times before people could just consistently stock it in their own makeup kit. And I have been using that one nonstop. I have received it in PR, but I've also purchased the bronzer stick. And to see them come out with the blushes in a comparable formula, really I'm excited because that means you're just literally like swiping and blending and your face can be done. So I'd be really curious to see if they move to a stick foundation formula because can you imagine how convenient that would be, especially if you're trying to do travel and you want to reduce the amount of liquids that you have to carry. So I'm kind of curious to see what else they might come out with, although I'm really happy to see this particular product release. Again, thank you to LYS and the team for sending these my way. It really is awesome to be able to try out all the colors and I do myself do see myself using all of these shades because they're absolutely beautiful. They are very flattering, at least on my complexion, and I could see these working for a lot of people. If you have a lighter skin tone than I do, a little bit's gonna go a really long way if you have a deeper complexion. These offer you the ability to blend and build and create just a really beautiful flush on the skin. I wish Natasha Denona would take note because it can be done. It absolutely can be done, guys. So anyway, that being said, let me know what you think of these. I'm really, really curious to hear your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you for hanging out with me today and deciding to click on this video. It really means a lot to me. Please like this video if you enjoy content like this. Leave me a comment and say hi. I love hearing from you guys. And please consider subscribing to my channel so you can be a part of my little corner of the internet where we talk about makeup and all of that fun stuff. It really is something I appreciate and we're, we're a small but steadily growing group over here, so it'd be great to have you join us. And as always, thanks for taking time out of your day to just hang out. It is so, so appreciated. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.